Hello everyone and welcome back to Zackle Educational Channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss the previous year's questions from the Rajasthan State Pollution Control Board Junior Scientific Officer Examination. So these are the previous year's questions which came in the examination and you should be ready with your notes so that you can write down all the important points which we are going to discuss and you should note down the correct answer for the questions. So without much delay, let's start today's video. So the first question is on your screen, you should note down the first question is the pressure changes in which direction? So the options are more rapidly in the horizontal direction than in vertical, more rapidly in the vertical direction than in horizontal, at the same rate in the horizontal and vertical direction or more rapidly in the vertical direction over land than over the ocean. So I'll wait for certain seconds then I'll reveal the correct option. So here the correct option will be option number B. The pressure changes more rapidly in the vertical direction than in the horizontal direction. That means for example when we go up in the altitude the pressure decreases. For example if you are at the bottom of the mountain then the pressure is more. If you move up the pressure decreases. That's what telling about in the vertical direction the pressure rapidly changes than in the horizontal direction. Let's move to the next question. Next question is bit of concept related. The question is to determine the heat of a solution of sodium hydroxide that is NaOH following set of procedures was used. So what were the procedures used? Read the initial temperature of water, read the final temperature of water, pour the water into a beaker, stir the mixture, add the sodium hydroxide. So the question is asking what is the correct order of procedure for making this determination. So our goal is to find the heat of the sodium hydroxide so to find that first thing is we should dissolve the sodium hydroxide in water. So what we should do first will be option number one or first will be the pour the water into a beaker first we need to take the water into a beaker so first will be C then what we will do then we will take the initial reading of the temperature of water read the initial temperature of water so we should know what is the temperature of water then we will add the sodium hydroxide so it will be E add the sodium hydroxide then what we will do then we have to stir the mixture in order to dissolve the sodium hydroxide properly and then finally we will take the final temperature of water so then what we will do we have to subtract the final minus initial temperature then we will get the heat of the solution of sodium hydroxide. So first step is pour the water into a beaker that means C where it is mentioned. So C it is mentioned here also and here also. But next step is what? Next step is add the sodium hydroxide. No. Next step is read the initial temperature of the water. Yes. That means C after that A will come. So here option C is correct. C then A then E then D then B. So in this way you can answer very simple question if you have concept clear. Coming to the next question which of the following removes both gaseous and particulate contaminants. So here the options are venturi scrubber, dynamic precipitator, gravitational settling chamber or bag filters. So here the correct option will be option number A. Venturi scrubber is the equipment which removes both gaseous and particulate contaminants. Coming to the next question. Next question is what would have been the average temperature of earth without the greenhouse gases in degree celsius. So we all know greenhouse gases are actually they are good for our environment but when their amount is increased from a particular percentage then it is causing trouble it is making more heat in our earth. So what is the function of the greenhouse gas for example this is our earth and the greenhouse gases are surrounding our planet. So what happens is when the sunlight it reaches our earth then it is reflected back. So as a result these greenhouse gases for example carbon dioxide, methane. So what they do is they trap all this heat which are reflected back from our planet earth. So sun is giving the heat and earth is getting that and then it is reflecting back and while reflecting these greenhouse gases they absorb the reflected sunlight that is the heat energy and after that they are again reflecting it back on the earth surface so that gives the heating effect but when their quantity is more then they will trap more heat and it will be reflected more back to the atmosphere from the greenhouse gases and our earth will be more hotter and hotter that is called as 
ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट ग्लोबल वार्मिंग सो इफ दे आर नॉट प्रेजेंट देन द ट्रैपिंग ऑफ द सनलाइट विल नॉट टेक प्लेस द हीट एनर्जी एंड आवर अर्थ विल बी कोल्ड इट विल नॉट बी हॉट सो वट विल बी द टेम्परेचर द टेम्परेचर विल बी माइनस नाइनटीन डिग्री एज पर द साइंटिफिक कैलकुलेशन सो हियर ऑप्शन डी विल बी करेक्ट Let's move on to the next set of questions. So, if you are having any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. The next question, question number five. So, question number five is from the ozone and troposphere. Very, very important and frequent class concept. The question is: the formation of ozone in troposphere depends on the solar radiation and the concentration of which compounds. So, it depends on the concentration of option number A will be correct. nitrogen dioxide and volatile organic compounds major reason for the formation of ozone in our troposphere along with the solar radiation so option a will be correct coming to the next question next question is question number 6 question number 6 is from the plume model gaussian plume model so here the question is the upward vertical rise prevails in which of the following plumes so that is telling so let us assume this is the chimney and the gases are moving upward so they are not moving like this way or like this way so what they are moving the pollutants are moving upward so it is in the case of what kind of plume it is in the case of neutral plume yes option d will be correct so neutral plume upward vertical rise prevails coming to the next question next question is which of the following waste water treatment technology can achieve effluent bod less than 5 mg per liter so our aim is to reduce the bod that is biochemical oxygen demand of the waste water before releasing into the water bodies so correct option will be option number d membrane bioreactor if we are using this technique then we can get the bod less than 5 mg per liter in the effluent that is the water which is treated and after that it is released into the water bodies coming to the next question question number 8 Question number eight is a aptitude question. If rain is written as this eight, then dollar percentage six, and more is written as seven hash eight and eight at the rate, remain will be written as what? So this is based on your general aptitude knowledge. So here I will tell you how we'll calculate. This is very simple. So here you can see I'll clear all these things. So here in the given thing rain and more, what is common? R is common. so r is common and what is common in the code what is common common is 8 so r denotes 8 as per this coding so here remain also 8 will be there so where are the 8 8 is here 8 is here 8 is here 8 is here but here you should see that where the r is given that means rain the r comes first so 8 is here and here more r comes in third so here 8 is in third similarly in remain r is in the first alphabet so that will be a it will be in the first alphabet in the first position in first position that means it will be in option c so i'll clear all these things i hope you are able to understand r means 8 we have denoted from these two things which is given in the question and it should come in the first first part first position here it is the first position so no need to know what is e m a i n if you just know which is common in the both the words then we can easily answer this question let us read question number 9 Question number nine is from the EIA, and EIA is also very frequently asked question. You should know that. The question is, what could compromise an environmental impact statement under the current EIA notification? So, as per the current EIA notification, option C, that is, a report of environmental impact assessment, could compromise in the current EIA notification for the environmental impact statement. So, a report of the environmental impact assessment can be compromise coming to the next question question number 10 the most common landfill sealant used for the control of gas and the leachate movement is what so the landfills where we are dumping our waste there are the sealants they will seal the landfill in order to avoid the movement of the harmful gases and liquid pollutants to enter into our water bodies and into our atmosphere so these blockages that means these sealants are what most common is which option option number a that is compacted clay so this compacted clay which is also called as bentonite you should note down bentonite is the clay compacted clay which is used as a sealant along with that 
which is used butyl rubber it is a synthetic rubber which is used i will write down butyl rubber and bentonite are the substance which are used as sealant in the landfill site let's move to the next question question number 11 question number 11 is the total dissolved solids that means tds cannot be removed by which of the following methods so these total dissolved solids are present in the water bodies so in the water which we want to treat which cannot be removed you should note here it is mentioned cannot be removed and which is the process the process is very simple filtration method we can't remove the total dissolved solids but with the help of ion exchange method reverse osmosis method and distillation method we will be able to remove the total dissolved solid from the wastewater i hope you are noting down all these things next read the next question how many individuals have won the nobel prize more than once so this is completely a question if you know then you can answer otherwise you have to bluff so here i will tell you the answer will be option number b four individuals have won the nobel prize more than once and here no need to remember the name but just know four individuals have won and you can answer the question i hope it will not be repeated if it is repeated option will be option b that is four coming to the next set of questions question number 13 so question number 13 is which of the is scores refers to package drinking water other than package natural mineral water so here for the package drinking water which are the code that means is code so it will be option number c is 14543 is the code referring to the package drinking water other than package natural mineral water so these things you should remember question number 14 which of the following statements is true let us read each one of the statements so here one is troposphere is equally thick across different part of the world absolutely wrong troposphere contains the ozone layer no troposphere contains ozone molecules but ozone layer are present in the stratosphere region troposphere is thinner at the equator than at the poles is it correct no it is thicker at the equator than at the poles Next is troposphere is thicker at the equator than at the poles. Yes, this is the correct statement. So option D will be the correct option. Question number 15. You will do it later on. We are not going to discuss here. We will do it in the next video. Let's move on to the question 16. Bunny Thani is painted by whom? So this is coming to the general knowledge from the Rajasthan. So Bunny Thani is painted by whom? It is painted by Nihal Chan. So option B will be the correct option for this question. Let's move on to the next question, question number 17, which is the competent authority for notifying the environmental impact assessment notification in India? EIA is notified by which of this competent authority? So it is notified by MOEF and CC, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Coming to the next question, question number 18, a city with tropical and humid weather produces waste with high calorific value. Which of the following options is best suited for the city? So here it is producing the waste which is having high calorific value that means its energy is more. So it can be used to prepare waste to energy. Yes option A will be correct as its high calorific value is the high calorific value for the waste then it should be very very helpful to generate energy so it should be going for the waste to energy conversion. Coming to the next question question number 19 what could be inferred from the following samples concerning the relative ease of biodegradability so here this is also if you know the concept what is BOD COD then only you can answer this so here you can see that question number 19 here sample A you can see is that it is having less COD than the sample B so here I can see the COD is 30 that means chemical oxygen demand but here you can see the chemical oxygen demand is more that means simple thing is BOD here it is more and here BOD is less BOD less means less organic compound here BOD more means more organic compound more organic compound means easily biodegradable so sample A is easily biodegradable next question question number 20 what is the newborn mortality rate of India as per the sample registration system SRS 2018 so this is also coming from what this is coming from the general knowledge if you are having the idea so I will tell you the correct option will be option number D 32 per thousand live births so here the newborn babies 32 are dying per thousand births in our country as per the sample registration system of 2018 
let's move to the next set of question question number 21 air pollution from automobiles can be controlled by fitting what so here automobiles are majorly known for releasing the carbon monoxide which is a very harmful gas pollutant so here the correct option option number c catalytic converter can be used for controlling the exhaust that is what mainly the carbon monoxide nitrogen oxides and hydrocarbons so this catalytic converter they are having the metals like platinum and rhodium which convert these gases carbon monoxide nitrogen oxide and hydrocarbons into what into less harmful gas they are carbon dioxide and water so this is the function of the catalytic converter let's move on to the next question question number 22 which of the following river flows its entire course within the state of rajasthan so this river flows entirely in rajasthan which is that river and the river is banas river so banas river entirely flows in rajasthan let's move to the next question question number 23 question 23 is as per the hazardous and other waste management and transboundary movement rule 2016 the import of hazardous and other waste from any country shall not be permitted for what it shall not be permitted for safe disposal in engineer landfill but it can be imported for the recycling purpose for utilization including pro processing and for recovery and reuse reuse program but not for disposal in the landfill we should not bring any waste from hazardous waste from other country for its disposal in the landfill coming to the next question question 24 which of the following is included in three t's of combustion so combustion process is having three t's you should have for proper combustion three t's of combustion are very important in order to give less harmful gas in our environment so option a will be correct proper temperature should be maintained proper time should be given and turbulence at what speed the combustion should take place also it matters so temperature time and turbulence are the three t's of combustion so pollutants and oxygen in the chamber they are mixed all together for the combustion let's move on to the next question question 25 what holds a planet's atmosphere close to its surface so this is our planet let us assume so this is the planet what is holding the atmosphere around it so it is the gravity which is holding the atmosphere close to its surface so option b will be the correct option so in this video we are going to discuss till this questions only if you enjoyed this don't forget to comment if you want more such videos like this video subscribe to get further updates prepare well all the very best for the examination see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself